Good morning on this Sunday, August 18th. I hope everyone's doing fantastic. Hurricane Ernesto has weakened into a tropical storm as it moves out over the northern Atlantic Ocean. What is going on with this tropical season? Let's take a look and see what's happening. Let me take you through this real quick and uh, let me know if you have any questions. If there's any questions at all, you want to have a discussion about the LRC or anything, please ask away. Let me know and we will, uh, we will have a discussion and we can learn together. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on. We can see that we do have Ernesto weakening on this August 18th report from Weather 2020 in the LRC. This is the risk from August 10th when we were tracking a system in the Atlantic about eight days ago heading towards the outer islands. And you can see it ended up tracking up into the North Atlantic. It went past and right over uh, Bermuda, but fortunately it's weakening and moving uh, north now. There is no sign of any development after Ernesto. We'll talk about that in a minute. There is Bermuda on the 17th as it tracked right over that island. And you can see uh, it took a direct hit, but it was fortunately a weak hurricane. They've been used to and experienced other stronger hurricanes in the past, but still they did get hit by Ernesto. Our prediction for the season is for 14 to 19 named storms. And we've had five so far. That's about average. 4.6 is average by now. Seven to 10 hurricanes, that's above average. We've had three hurricanes. 1.4 is average by now in the Atlantic Basin. Four to five major hurricanes, we've had one. That's above average. And the ACE is way above average. Our prediction, 150, 125 to 175. We're at 51 right now, and that's because of this major hurricane barrel that added to this number so much. But the average is 17, so we're triple average at the moment, but that's because of one major hurricane Earl. I mean, excuse, hurricane um, barrel. <laughs> it took the B off. So Alberto, Barrel, Chris, Debbie, Ernesto, the next one will be named Francine. The season is being tracked by Barcelona Supercomputing Center and Colorado State University. And as of August 17th, there's our five named storms. Here's well the 2020's predictions. And all these other predictions are going to are going to either come down or they're going to be wrong, right? As we predicted. The average is about 23 named storms. We're at 14 to 19. So this will be the third straight year, Weather 2020 will have had the most accurate season prediction. So something to monitor. It's still early. We predicted Hurricane Debbie five months before. That's where we expected Debbie to track, and Debbie tracked very close to our track prediction. In our forecast that we showed and tweeted out and posted in August for I mean, in July for August, our update, this is where we forecasted it to go. And this is where Ernesto tracked or very close to our prediction. There's our July 22nd prediction. Here's for mid-August and here's our mid-August placement of where Ernesto tracked. Well, I want to show you something interesting. This is the flow at 18,000 feet up and a forecast we showed you a little over a week ago that's valid last night. The jet stream's up here across the northern Pacific, dipping down across the Pacific Northwest, and the model predicted that there would be this trough off the East Coast kicking out Ernesto. Well, look, see this trough? Look where it ended up being. It ended up being right here. There's a big difference. So seven days ago, this is where it was predicted to be, and this is where it ended up. It still kicked out Ernesto, but slower. But you, That is amazing, actually. There's the prediction. Just to show you, at seven days out, these models are flawed. So when you see something seven days out, it's going to look different, and that's where the LRC comes into play. So anyway, you look at this. This is the risk from August 18th. There is Ernesto. It's now a tropical storm. There is no sign of development 
after Ernesto. Lambda Basin will be below average by midweek for the season. So there's no sign of any development. So what do we expect? Well, in our press release back a few months ago, and in our prediction from March, we predicted that around September 9th, peak hurricane season would have activity. So we're going to be watching for a system coming in from the Atlantic or developing in the Caribbean and moving into the Gulf of Mexico. It could threaten Texas or Louisiana or it could threaten our hot spot of northeast Gulf of Mexico. That's around September 2nd to 16th. So we're expecting to start seeing something. Not only this one, we're expecting another one to come straight out of the east. Hurricane Tammy in October took this track. And we're expecting one to come in and may curve out to sea, just like what we just saw, where it could threaten the, the southeast coast or Florida. So there's two systems around September 9th, right around peak hurricane season, we're expecting. This was Tammy's track, by the way. And if we look at a 45-day cycle, it would be September 4th where there was one heading this way. If it was a 46-day cycle, it would be September 11th. It could be as late as September 18th. So this is what we're looking for for a system. Of, notice how Tammy curved out to sea. So given the fact that it will be forming around peak hurricane season, we'll have to see how far south it tracks. This is very complex. It's very interesting. This shows the comparing two cycles of the LRC in Seattle, Washington. But I can show you many other cities. They're all about the same. This is one series of storm systems and waves aloft at 18,000 feet up. This is a 500 millibar flow, basically. Notice how cycle one that goes out for a couple of months, I tracked it, and cycle four, notice how the patterns are similar. This is like a validation of the LRC and how incredible it really is. And we can put that into our global predictor as well. If you look at our global predictor for West Palm Beach, Florida, for the month of September, remember we said around September 9th, 10th, we'd expect a system in here. Look at the rainfall forecast for, for West Palm Beach. Two inches, 2.5, 2.3, so seven inches of rain that has to be a tropical system. So this is the target. And this is from our global predictor. Go to your app store and you can download the global predictor pro. This is for Miami, Florida, same kind of thing. So our model is predicting a couple possible tropical systems here and here for Florida. So something to watch, but you can get your forecast for anywhere in the world. You can go to our website, weather 2020 as well. So pretty interesting. It gives you high temperatures, low temperatures, snow, and rain. And it's only $5.99 for the next six months. If you get the Pro, you got October, November, December, January, and February right now. It goes all the way to near Super Bowl Sunday already. So there you go. I uh, hope that made sense to you. Let me know if there's any questions. So bottom line is, after Ernesto fades away in the next two to three days, we're going to be quiet for a little while. And then expect activity to start showing up as we get closer to the peak hurricane season. I'm meteorologist with Weather 2020. Again, download that Global Predictor Pro. You can just search for Global Predictor in the App Store and download it. Pay the $5.99 and get peace of mind. It's totally worth it. You'll get the full six months of forecast for planning your vacation, your wedding, your honeymoon, your trip to go see a football game, World Series, etc. I'm meteorologist Gary Lezak with the Weather 2020.